Game day. For fans of Florida State football, this means war chants, celebrations, drum lines, die hard rivalries, a battle of grit that is guaranteed to leave you on the edge of your seat. And to kick it all off is the most storied tradition in college football history. Osceola and Renegade have been making their famous ride in Dope Campbell Stadium since 1978, making this season the 40th anniversary of this beloved pregame ritual. I mean, it just kind of gives us that jolt at the very, very beginning of the game, and then that pretty much just lasts throughout. Um, you know, being able to see that and see the best tradition in college football, um, it, it really just kind of hits you and it just kind of keeps you going. Before the planting of the spear became a staple at every FSU home game, it began as an idea from a student on the homecoming committee back in 1962. And I said, well, you know, we're so proud at Florida State, so proud of our, our Seminole relationship, and if we could have a student that would be dressed in an authentic Seminole attire on a big, going, uh, beautiful horse, and, come out to the middle of the field before every game and slam that spear down with a fire line, I think people would really like that. Support for the idea was hard to find in 1962 as university administrators were unsure how a horse would react in the stadium. However, Durham brought his idea back to the team in 1977 after winning the support of Ann Bowden, who invited him to pitch the idea to her husband, head football coach Bobby Bowden. Dad saw that as the perfect opportunity, and he said, well, well, Bobby, I've had this idea since I was a student in the 60s, and he told him about it, and Coach Bowden loved it, and said, oh, my gosh, well, will, will you do that? And he said, I'll, I promise I'll put it all together if you'll just let me get that horse out on the football field. But before the Appaloosa would take its first ride in Doak Campbell, there was one more important meeting to be held. Was he went down and he made an appointment with Chief Howard Tommy, who was the chief of the Seminole Tribe of Florida at the time. Dad went down and met with him and, and told him what he wanted to do. But he said, I, I want to make sure that uh, I have your permission and the tribe's permission for us to create this pageantry, this tribute at FSU. And he made many promises about how we would conduct the program and we keep those promises to this day 40 years later. The Durham's relationship with the Seminole Tribe of Florida has been key in maintaining the authenticity of portraying the important figure in Seminole history. You look at the name Osceola and you see what he represented. And, and he represented an unconquered people that was determined to not back down and never sign a peace treaty with the American government. A very proud people in the Seminole Tribe of Florida. And so we want to make sure that the student, when they come into that role, that they understand what Osceola represented. It was an honor. And I'm glad that uh, the opportunity presented itself that I could do that. Uh, I'm proud to say that I was Osceola. To perfect the spear plant that gets 80,000 fans out of their seat, each Osceola must go through a two-year apprenticeship program before taking to the field on game day. So the first two years, you do everything but ride the horse at the games, and then as a junior and senior, then you get to be the rider. But uh, you did have to go out and ride at least once a week. And it's important because with the horse, it's, uh, it's, it's a relationship. And not anybody can just hop on a horse and, the horse and expect the horse to mind you. So they've got to be an exceptional equestrian. They've got to really know what they're doing on a horse. And the planting of the spear isn't something to just be watched, as the fans play an active role in letting the opponent know that the Knolls are ready for battle. And people have really gotten behind it, and they really anticipate it, and we bring it to that pivotal moment, the last thing that happens before we kick that that uh, ball off to start the football game is the planting of the spear at the 50-yard line. Game day is more than just a football game. It's players, coaches, and fans coming together to celebrate the traditions that unite them. We all run to the end zone, you know, say our little prayers, and then we, we go up and, you know, watch them plant the spear and with our helmets in the air. You know, it's a tradition that's been going on here forever, so that feeling that you get, you know, it, it's surreal, you know. Just being able to be out there and you know, being with your teammates and being part of a great tradition here at Florida State. With each new generation of Florida State football, some traditions have been added along the way, but one stands highest through the test of time and has kicked off game day for 40 years and will continue for many more to come. I'm Abby Radica for Seminole Sports Magazine.